everyone. How's it going? It's been a while since I did that initial video for Ravencoin Lite when they first forked from Ravencoin Classic and getting everyone over there mining, checking out the project. Well, they've definitely matured in the time since I made that video. They are no longer Ravencoin Lite. If you look on the screen right behind me or whatever over here, you can see they are now Avian Network. They've done a full rebrand. They've left the Ravencoin name. And they're getting ready to also move from the X16R to the X16RT uh, algorithm. So they got a lot of things going on. The pivotal part at the time of making this video on Saturday, December 4th, 2021, on Monday, December 6th, they are doing a major change over to the new algorithm and the wallet. Now, you need to upgrade if you're still mining and you want to use your coins right now, you need to upgrade to the version 3 wallet. If you're a hodler that got in real quick, mined a bunch of coins, and just has it sitting off to the side, when you want to use your coins again, you need to upgrade first because the version 2.6 or whatever wallet that you're running on before will not work correctly with the version 3 blockchain. So... You won't lose any of your old coins if you don't immediately do the switch over. But if you are currently mining and you currently want to use the coins that you have, you need to do this upgrade. Otherwise, you won't be able to have your mining. You won't be able to do deposits from a mining pool. You won't be able to send your coins, receive coins. You won't be able to do any of that until you do this upgrade. So... Okay, so with that being said, let's shoot over to their wallets. And we're going to get the newest version 3 wallet. It's just been released at the time of recording. And you can get the Windows wallet, the Mac wallet, or the Linux wallet. This VM is running on one of my servers right over here on the side. I run all my crypto wallets in this VM. This way I can back up the VM weekly and I always know my wallets are safe. That's how I handle it. So I run Linux. This is Linux Mint. We're going to download the Linux. Everything in this message is basically the same for Windows, but I don't have a Windows wallet. So you'll have to look around on YouTube for another YouTuber. Hopefully, chump change. Um, we'll release a video showing you how to update the Windows wallet. But most of this is the same. So let me download the Linux wallet here. We're going to save this. And it's downloaded. So let's close this out. Now, uh, under my home folder, there will be equivalency in Windows. Uh, I'm not sure where it dumps it at. All these little dot files are actually hidden files in Linux, if you're not familiar with it. And you can see here's one for Hivecoin. Here's uh, the main folder for Zellcore. This is your data file that was originally made by the Ravencoin Lite wallet. So if I click into here, you'll see there's the most important file right there, the wallet.dat file. That needs to be backed up before you do anything just to make sure. But it's easier just to back up the whole folder. Now what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do first is give myself an extra pane so I can see on both sides here. And I want to make a new folder. I want to make this .avn. Since we are switching basically from Raven Raven Light to AVN. So you can still use the Raven Light folder. It's not a big deal. Just back up that folder. This is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go in here. Grab all of these. Control C. I'm going to go over here. Control V. A few seconds for the copy. So now, for me, the Raven Light folder is my backup, and I can play with AVN once we run the new version of the wallet. So let's close this out. Oh, wait, no. Actually, we got to go back in there. I need my downloads. And here's our folder. So let's bump this over here so I can get a hold of it again. I keep all of my other wallets like that under my documents. So I'm going to make a new folder here. This is going to be AVN 3.0.0. .0 .0. 
And no. Go in here. And it's just the same three files rebranded uh, internally and by the file names themselves from Ravencoin Lite to Avian. So, oh, wait, hold on. What if I actually get in that folder? There we go. Now let's grab these three, drag them out. There we go. We can close out the zip file. And we're going to, I think I might have to give it permissions. Okay, it's already allowed executing as a program. So let's just double click it. Oh, you're going to be a pain in the butt. Linux Mint does this thing. Okay, so open in terminal. AVN. Oh, wait, AV, AVN dash QT. There we go. So if you use the default data directory, actually, wait, there was information. In Discord here. This is the big thing. If you're following this project, you should be part of their Discord community. All the announcements of everything that's going on is in this Discord. So, like right here on 1127th, on 1127th, it was telling you about the new features of the version 3 wallet. Uh, long awaited announcement, big milestone, all the good stuff. There will be questions for the 3.0. This is just a quick overview for to get the word out. You need to upgrade to this new wallet. Uh, we are live for the new wallet three, and that was uh, 1130. So that was four days ago. Okay. God pack. And I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyway, if you are updating to version three, please read the following for the QT wallet. Now this is for windows. Uh, when you first open the new wallet, it should ask you to put in a new data directory as shown as picture below. You can put your original Ravencoin Lite folder and it will work perfectly fine. Remember, I copied my files over from my Ravencoin Lite folder on Linux and made an AVN folder. This way I can use the Ravencoin Lite as a backup. As long as you back up that folder before you launch this version of 3, just in case, you're good to go. So... Let's get back over to – there we go. Um, I'm going to use a custom directory. AVN. There we go. Directory already exists. Add dash name if you intend to create a new directory here. Okay, cool. So it should pull that information. And see, now we got the branding for Avian Core. Like – Go for a few seconds. Let's load up the block index because I honestly haven't launched the Ravencoin Lite wallet probably for at least a month. So it's definitely going to be behind. Okay. So now we are loading. Okay. Yeah. Four weeks behind. I figured it's been about a month since I loaded it. So let me let this connect to the new peers, get caught up with the blockchain, and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I'm not getting anywhere. So you might have to do this. Let me jump back over to the Discord and down in the announcements. They also have here, need a node to connect for syncing? Try this. Go to help debug console, then type all this stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to control C that, and we're going to jump back over, and we're going to go to help. We'll go to console. Let's see if we can just do a control V. Uh, you bomb. You ain't going to let me. It's going to make me manually type it in. Give me a second. Okay, so we're going to type in add node 159.65.178.148 add. Okay, I guess that worked. And we'll do add node DNS seed dot US dot AVN dot network add. Okay. Add node DNS seed dot EU dot AVN dot network. 
add. Okay, so with that done, we should be able to. And now we now we're starting to get peers, so that's great. Yep, there we go. Now we'll start syncing. Give it a few minutes now, because before there was nothing in here. I checked uh, off camera, and nothing was going on. So give it a few minutes. We should actually start getting some progress now. Oh, yeah. See, now we're getting network data transfer, which means now we're pulling in information. I started back here before we put those ad nodes in, and nothing was happening. So as soon as we put those ad nodes in, we are now syncing. So we're probably about a half hour total into this right now for the sync process, and we're down to 35,000 blocks. So we should be done here hopefully in about 20 minutes. But the latest announcement in your Discord, I definitely want to show that in this video. Let me switch over here real quick and make myself disappear. There we go. Right here. Friendly reminder that the version 3 wallet update is mandatory to stay on the main chain at the time of the algo swap. If you're running wallet version 2.6x and do not update your wallet by this upcoming Sunday, you will be left behind on the old X16R chain and disconnected from the rest of the network, including pools and exchanges. Here's the big part. If you update your wallet after the timestamp has passed, you will retain all coins received prior to the activation timestamp. So your, all your old coins are still there. You never lose them. But everything obtained post-activation will be void if you do not upgrade to the new wallet. Case in point, people who are still mining on the Avian network, you have to do this upgrade or you're going to lose those new coins that you're going to be mining right now. So if we go back... Okay, we'll be back in a little bit here after this is done syncing up. There we go. We are synced. Perfect. And we can see they've changed the color of the wallet. All of my Ravencoin light, which is now AVN, is still there. Let's make sure that the receiving address is the same. Let me verify this on another page that you will not see. And let's see here, because I have it on their RVL here. Yep, we are using the same exact address, so it is basically seamless. So that gives you the basic information and a quick update on the Avian network and why it is so important to upgrade the wallet to the new version 3. Again, this was for Linux. Windows will be very similar. Hopefully, Chump Change will put out a video on how to update it in Windows. I'm going to egg him on. If he does make a video, I will post a card somewhere on top of the video, right around here, and give you a link to it. Down below, I will put links to the Avian Network's main page, which there you can get the wallets. I will also put the Avian Network's Discord link down below if you're not already on the Discord. Because if you want to be active in this community, that's where you need to get all the information from. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Share this around the mining community. Come say hi to myself and everyone else over at the Mining Misfits Discord. Link for that will also be down in the video description. And I will catch you on the next video.